The mathematics has shown that, that we need 10 or 11 dimensions, including the three we, we see, to make stability. And so the simplest uh, 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 forces or strings can then emerge in our three-dimensional world in the particles and forces that we normally see. That's right. So in this crystal, the crystal exists in a higher dimension, but it eventually cracked apart for reasons that we are still trying to understand. And the three-dimensional world we see today is quite broken. Now, where are these higher dimensions? Look at smoke. Smoke permeates throughout a room. Smoke permeates in all three dimensions. But smoke never disappears. Smoke never floats into the fourth dimension. Therefore, a fourth, fifth, sixth dimension has to be smaller than smoke. But atoms also don't suddenly drift away into hyperspace. Therefore, these higher dimensions have to be smaller than an atom, or else our universe would float away. <laughs> okay. So we think that at the beginning of time, there was this perfection of 10 or 11 dimensional hyperspace. But these other dimensions curled up, so small that atoms cannot leak mm. into these higher mm. dimensions.